Hi and welcome to this video. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a disk diagnostic by using a utility. This is for testing dr old drives or drives that are failing. Not 100% guarantee, but give you a good idea what your lifespan of your drive is left. So, in my test machine I've got two Itachi Death Star drives, which and are owned by Western Digital, but they're about between 8 years old. So I'm going to be testing one of the drives here, which is the oldest one. And I've been using the same thing before with the utility flash drive I've been using. Uh, link in the description for the um, sites for the um, software. So let's um, plug in the USB into the drive. And boot into the utility. F11 is for the boot menu on this one. Oops. Sorry about that, so let's take the hard drive and then the USB drive. And then boot into Ultimate Boot CD, so we select HD. And then we select Diagnostics, which will bring all the diagnostics. And there's loads of programs here, and each one is marked by the manufacturer, so you need to select the one that's designed to work the manufacturer. So we're selecting Drive Fitness Test for IBM and Hitachi's, but there's loads in the list here for each of the drives. Press enter on the program we run. This is actually either 88 or SCSI, depending on the adapter, because all first class both. But same here, different control though, depending, but number one works fine for everything. This comes over to detect the old adapter, so don't worry. Press A to agree, and the machine will start adding in um, hard drives. So that's the text of the hard drive, since it's attached, so it's shown to here. If nothing shows up on this list, it, on, and it's a new modern machine, you will need to change the BIOS settings for the SATA ports from, um, H, I can't remember what it is, HDPA to IDE controller for this to work, because this runs on an IDE controller. But you must remember to switch it back before booting up your OS, or you will better be open, or you may crash your OS. So this is ideal to test on the old machines or without all your drives in the, in place. So this is to identify correct. So I think yes, and it will bring up all the drives. So you select which drive you want to test. So I'm going to be testing ID zero, which is the 250 drive, and there's two options: quick test and advanced test. So you first would test it with quick test, Professor Q, and it does a quick test. Oh, sorry, yeah, sorry. It comes to the screen, you press start, and it will do a quick test. So there's only tests. Is general errors of the machine but it does not test the sectors and it gives the information on the hard drive
So this tells you it's um, successfully tested and there's no problems. If any problems are go red and there'll be an error code and you can go to the help menu and utility help and find the information on what the code means. But if it goes an error or it recommends to do the other test, then you can select the advanced test. And when you press start, this will be a longer process, but it does the quick test and then does a full analysis of all the um, sectors and it alerts you of any problems. So I'll start this now and it will vary on time depending on the size of your drive. Okay, the test now completed, and let's see it's successful on the advance, so the drive is still healthy. There are the utilities on here that allow you to um, do other tests, like erase boost sectors and erase the disk with their own M software, and also give you drive information. So, yeah, that's this entire test, and when you finish, just exit. And it will return to the and you just need to reboot the system and that's how you do a drive test each tool varies depending on what it is and if you get any errors at all it is advisable to back the data off of the drive and dispose of it hope this helps out and uh, thanks